On October 27, 2023, bullet coaster at Happy Valley in Shenzhen, China suffered a horrific crash where a train traveling at very high speed and holding 22 riders collided into a stationary second train parked in the station. This pushed train 2 backwards and into the brake run behind the station, leaving train 1 which had caused the collision in the station itself. At the time of the incident, 15 riders had already stepped off the train parked in the station while 9 more were still on board about to disembark. Thankfully, no riders were killed in the collision, but 28 people were admitted to the hospital and 17 were seriously injured. My thoughts and prayers go out to all the injured riders, their families, and their loved ones. I hope by this point that all injuries have healed and that the victims have all been able to return to their normal lives. Bullet Coaster is a launching roller coaster built by SNS Worldwide, an American amusement ride manufacturer. The 83 mile per hour launch is powered by compressed air, which SNS are well known for using in their launching roller coasters, drop tower attractions, and screaming swing flat rides. Like many launching roller coasters, Bullet Coaster features a magnetic brake system on its launch track in case a train is not launched fast enough and does not roll over the 197 foot tall top hat following the launch. Thus, if a train rolls back down the top hat and into the launch track, the magnetic brake system slows down the train, preventing it from colliding with another train. Mounted beneath all the cars of each train are a set of permanent magnets and attached to the track are retractable eddy current brake fins. During launches, the brake fins are attracted downward to allow trains to launch freely. The brake fins then pop up once the train passes. When braking is required, the brake fins pass between the magnets mounted on the train, which causes a resistive force that slows down the train. Unlike a ride like Accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm, where there are two sets of brake fins that run parallel to each other, meaning there's also two sets of permanent magnets mounted beneath each car of the train, Bullet Coaster only has one set of brake fins on the left side of the launch track and one set of permanent magnets mounted to the bottom of its trains. Now with strong enough magnets and proper maintenance of the the entire system, this is really no issue. To my American viewers, Max Force at Six Flags Great America features the same single set of brakes and there haven't been any problems with it. Well, it appears that improper maintenance of the magnetic brake system on Bullet Coaster is what led to the collision. Following the accident, the city of Shenzhen set up an investigation team to find the cause of the accident. The investigation recently concluded and the municipal government's accident investigation team made the report public on Monday, January 8th. It was determined that the direct cause of the accident was a fatigue fracture in the rear bolt that secured the final eddy current brake fin at the end of the launch. This caused the brake fin to have a large lateral deviation when raised in the braking position. In the figure shown here, the left image shows how a brake fin should pass through the permanent magnets mounted beneath the train, and the right picture demonstrates the brake fin that was out of alignment, which would cause a collision with the permanent magnets mounted on the train. If I understand the accident report correctly, while the ride was launching a train, an alarm was triggered in the ride's control system, which caused the launch brakes to raise into the brake position as the train was nearing the end of the launch track. This caused the permanent magnets on car 6 of the train to hit the misaligned brake fin, which moved the brake fin out of position even further. Because the brakes had engaged early and slowed the train down slightly, the train did not have enough speed to clear the top hat and rolled back into the launch track. Because the final brake fin was misaligned further, the permanent magnets of the train struck the brake fin which severely damaged all six pairs of magnets mounted to the train. This also led to the damage of the first six brake fins that that the train passed over. With the permanent magnets now damaged and unable to interact with the other brake fins, the brake system was completely compromised, and the train did not slow down, causing it to collide with train 2 which was parked in the station. The report further details that the park had allowed the bolts of the brake fins to become loose, and the bolts were not torqued according to SNS's specifications. This caused the bolts to experience additional shear force which led to fatigue damage of the bolts. Another part of the brake fin assembly, known as the ear plate, had also become too worn and had needed to be replaced as it was far past its service life. This caused an increase in the fit gap, which further accelerated fatigue of the bolts during lifting of the brake assembly. This led to another condition where the limit block of the brake fin was not fully inserted into a guide groove, which allowed the brake fin to shake when raised into the braking position. This is a serious case of neglect, and the accident and resulting injuries could have all been avoided with preventative maintenance and precautionary measures. Methods. A brake fin should never have been allowed to become misaligned in the first place, and all operation of the coaster should have been halted once it became known the brake fin was out of alignment. I'm not sure how often Bullet Coaster experiences rollbacks, but if it wasn't often, then who knows how long that brake fin was sitting misaligned and ready to
to cause a catastrophic accident. Amusement rides are designed to be perfectly safe, but they can only remain safe if parks are responsible and properly maintain their attractions. Now occasionally, design flaws do cause amusement ride accidents, but most incidents come down to human error or poor maintenance. In the case of Bullet Coaster, it was absolutely poor maintenance and the people responsible for the attraction's upkeep at Happy Valley Shenzhen should be ashamed of themselves. Let's give our best wishes to the victims who were injured in the crash and wish them all a quick recovery if they haven't done so already. And let's also hope that an incident like this never happens again, as this should have never happened in the first place. It would be a shame for the few parks who don't address maintenance properly to ruin the amusement industry for us all.